keep away honey you're gonna get a transparent review <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Camelia. Today's video, we are at the last of the Magic Bar reviews, honey. Last night, I reviewed the um, exfoliating face cleansing magic bar by Nivea this is the one with active charcoal if you've been watching any of the other videos which I will link in the description box below so that you can catch up and maybe if you only wanted to know about a particular magic bar out of the three that I chose to review then you can go back to those videos I will make sure that I link them in the description box below so I did get done reviewing last night with the Nivea exfoliating magic bar you guys know I was super super excited to be reviewing that one because I love anything with active charcoal I've also used other products with active charcoal as well so I know how I expected my skin to feel after using it I actually made notes guys because as this is the last of the reviews I really wanted to make sure that I was thorough we'll start um, with the look of the magic bar as you can see it is black in color it's got the Nivea logo on here it just says Nivea face here this is it obviously in its dry form you're probably gonna see the video so you can get to see what it looks like when it lavers up um, if you look closely I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick it up but um, there are tiny little pieces of you know i don't know micro grains or whatever you want to call them this is an exfoliation bar after all it is a natural um, product and it is soap free i wasn't surprised to find that there isn't much of a scent there's something very very subtle in all of them but not anything to really write home about i found the lava on this particular magic bar to be different from the rest i did notice that there was a kind of like gloopy stickiness to this lava which to be honest with you i didn't find favorable it also evaporated quite quickly once applied to the face but obviously when you rub it in it would go white again and then sort of evaporate again i only say that to say i didn't notice that with the other magic bars uh, with the lava from the other magic bars so there was definitely a, dis uh, a difference in consistency another thing i noticed is that um the micro grains that you see within the bar literally did not try like didn't transfer into the lava so there was nothing really in the lava i felt the odd piece here and there on my face don't get me wrong we want the grains to be as fine as possible we don't want it to be damaging or to cause any kind of micro tears or anything like that um, just because you can feel the grains it doesn't necessarily mean it's doing any damage it's like sometimes you have to be the one to make sure that you're not applying too much pressure so that you don't you know tear and scratch your skin so maybe if you're looking for a product that actually gives you like exfoliation that you feel this might not be for you it's quite difficult to rinse off it like it leaves some kind of film behind which was a little annoying because I rinsed my face quite a few times I think I've mentioned in past videos before um, this I, I don't like anything with glycerin in and I the only way I can describe like a film is usually products with glycerin in some sort of a glycerin leave some sort of a film and it find it just is difficult to wash off it reminded me of that so that for me was not favorable that said my skin felt clean but just just not the way I would expect my skin to feel being that it is a product with active clay in it I feel like every time I use products with active clay in you get this general feeling that it's drawn out the oils out of your skin it's not a dry feeling but you certainly get that you know clean feel and whilst my skin felt clean it didn't feel clean on the level that it sh that I feel like it should have and even it didn't even feel clean on the level of the radiance bar I know I have a certain expectation of what my skin should feel like and I just don't think it met that somebody else might use this and feel differently I don't know I didn't get the dryness that was a little bit of a concern for me with the first that I got from the first magic bar so that's a good thing also it being the next day and even you know later on 
um, last night. Um, my skin felt calm, it was smooth, um, and yeah, there was actually, there was absolutely no irritation whatsoever. All in all, guys, I would say, you know what, it is a little bit of an anti-climax for me, because I was really, I was really looking forward to, to this magic bar. I've tried products with clay in it before, so I feel like I had a certain expectation of the way that my skin was gonna feel, and it absolutely didn't. I don't think that's necessarily anything bad on the product itself. I think that if you've got super uber sensitive skin, this could maybe be um, like a good product for you to try. Um, generally, I don't have uber sensitive skin, and I like to, you know, have a good scrub and like to feel like my skin is that deep down kind of clean. That's all I can really say. I I um I don't dislike it but it's not one that I would necessarily go to to use in order to cleanse my skin. I think I'd have to put way too much work in in terms of scrubbing in order to get my skin to where I needed it to be. Nothing to write really home about. I wouldn't rave about it, but I also wouldn't dismiss it if you're somebody who, like I say, has uber sensitive skin and you're looking for a soap free product and also, you know, sustainability and eco-friendly products are important to you. I would definitely say go and look into Nivea's Magic Bars. My reviews are not to bash anyone they are literally for me and for you I just want to try some of these products and see you know what they're giving in real life and I want to come to you guys and be as transparent as possible that is it for this video and the Nivea marathon review I really really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much guys if you stuck with me from the first review right up to the end I really really appreciate it if you haven't already guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe for the ride make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you know when i upload another video i've got lots of different new products and products i've been trying in between products that i've been using in between that haven't been face cleansers necessarily and um, that i really want to come back and talk to you guys about with that said guys i am out thank you so much for watching like this video subscribe for the ride and i'll see you in another one bye